Welcome, this video tutorial explains how to install the Agent Awareness subsystem of Qmetrix on a working system. Um, the first thing that we have to do is uh, when you log in in a, in a Qmetrix system is to enable the a a a Agav Runner profile that, is, that ships with Qmetrix but uh, is usually disabled because uh, if you are not running Agav it is not something that you are going to use. This is very easy, you set it to yes here and save this. Then the, the second thing that we have to do is uh, you have to install a, 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 key, a demo key for uh, the Agave system. It's very easy to do, you go to the Agent Awareness Manager, you go here, install new key, you got a, a key, you can ask it for us to us um, via a web form. You copy here. Sorry. And you get uh, in, in a few seconds uh, the system will uh, restart the Agav runner and uh, you're going to see that it's working. In order to check that it's okay, you check the logs here. It will be mm, led to a page with the logs. And you should see something um, on the log here, the loader. That says that the queue runner is running and is running on a set of queues. It's possible that you have no queues here. Then it's uh, if you see lines here, this means that uh, the, the the runner, that is the the, um, the the component of Agav that basically does the analysis, uh, is running uh, fine, and this means it's uh, it's uh, correctly installed. Then when we go back, we go back to the queues because we have to configure our queues for Agav to run. On our queues, uh, it's very easy to set up. You basically select a queue that must be an atomic queue, not a composite queue. But for example, this one, QDPS, is an atomic queue, meaning that it has only one. Uh, it, it matches uh, one uh, asterisk queue. You edit it. You make sure that Agav is enabled for this uh, queue, and you set it to yes. And then you could uh, change uh, the Agav lookback period. That is, how many minutes in the past are used for the real-time analy analysis. We suggest something like 720 or something like that. So uh, the other thing that you can set here is the alarms for Agav. You know that you can have alarms for Q metrics. With Agav, you can have a lot of information that is about the situation of the queue and about the situation of the agent. And uh, you can decide uh, which values to show, and you can decide uh, which uh, values should trigger um, should trigger uh, an alarm. And you can see you can have these values for uh, for uh, for uh, the queue for all of the queue. So you can see, for example, the average uh, call length for all of the queue. And you decide here that if it's over 100 seconds on average, you want it to see it yellow, or over 200 seconds must be red. And then you can decide. You see this information also for the very agent that is connected, so you can have different thresholds for the agent. You can choose to see to turn on or turn off all this information as as you see fit. You configure this f for all of your queues. And to make sure that everything is working fine, what we do, we go back to the agent awareness manager. We, you go to agent, you, you should be seeing data here for all of your queues that says that the, the status of the queue and the number of lines that are, uh, that are in the database and things like that. You go back to the agent, if you want to see agent 101, the information about Agav of agent 101, the latest information are computed here. You can see that uh, uh, the status of the agent, uh, everything that will be piped to the, to the, um, to the um, Agav client, and uh, you can see all the statistics that are present on the database for that agent. Now, of course, what we want to do is uh, we want to uh, to to um, install the Agav uh, the Agent Awareness client. This is uh, quite easy to do because we go to the license page. You should be able to install a plugin. If you have a Firefox, you click here and you're going to have the installation of the plugin. If you have Chrome, you click here and you're going to have the installation of the plugin. I'm going to show you Firefox, but it's basically the same thing in Chrome. Because when you enable the plugin, the first thing that you have to do in Firefox, no, sorry, it's Tools, Kimetrix Sidebar here. You click uh, Setup here. You're going to have a box that asks you for a server URL and it's uh, sorry it's the one that is present here so setup server URL 
the login for your agent, uh, let's imagine agent 101, that is the default one, and with the default password. Okay. If everything goes well, you get a sidebar here. This sidebar works with whatever you do. So it's uh, you can um, go to any website, you can go to keymetrics.com, you can go whatever you want, and you're going to have the sidebar here. You can uh, enlarge it, uh, make it uh, make it uh, larger or smaller, whatever you want. So this information is live from the Agava subsystem. Okay, let's imagine that we uh, log on our agent. You see that the status here has changed changed to logged on at uh, 12, uh, 18 past 12. You see that uh, he's logged on on the SKU DPS and uh, he has a chat window that uh, he can open a, a chat with uh, through XMPP. Uh, he can see the statistics for him, the ACL, the average call length for him, that is 24 seconds on the three calls that he took, and the average for the queue is 19 seconds. You can you know that all these parameters are configurable. You, you, we see here that we have no calls waiting, because zero calls for this queue, and zero calls for this queue. And uh, basically you can do whatever you want. In this case we are going to be logged in as the agent here in the client and uh, as an ad uh, administrator in Qmetrics, because I want to show you couple of things here. For example, if you go to uh, on um, the real-time monitoring for this queue, we see that the, there are a bit of information here. And uh, if you go to broadcast here, you can send a message, uh, hello, say, for Q, QDPS, and everybody who's logged on on QDPS will receive it. So in a few seconds, uh, we, exp we would expect it to, to display here as well. Uh, with the messages, it's um, you see here, hello from demo admin, and uh, this basically means that the agent awareness subsystem is working for you. Uh, you can uh, configure it. There are many things, but you're going to find a lot of m lot more of information on the user manual. Thank you. Bye.